In America today, the sun seems to be shining a little brighter. The birds are chirping happier melodies. The smell of spring has displaced old man winter. In fact, folks, winter will not even come this year. It's cold and harsh winds will not chill the souls of men or women. The shackles of the past, which for so long have bound too many of us, have been shaken loose, and the process of rebuilding the conservative movement has begun. This is the rebirth of a principled opposition, an opposition rooted in conviction, not opposition for opposition's sake or political expedience. The road's going to be steep, but I know as a people, we will get there. Can we oppose the idea that confiscatory taxation produces prosperity? when in fact it punishes economic growth? Yes, we can. Can we oppose the notion that our national greatness is derived from an ever-growing government instead of the freedom from government our founders envisioned? Yes, we can. Can we oppose the belief that one's earnings must be redistributed for the false promise of fairness? Yes, we can. Can we oppose the belief that it is immoral to secure our own borders or defend ourselves from terrorists intent on destroying us? Yes, we can. Can we do all that and more? Yes, we can, because now it's plain for one and all to see taking the moderate path of appeasement leads to defeat. Conservatives are free at last. Thank God Almighty, we are free at last to seek the mountaintop.